Hello my friends, welcome to today's video. I'm Jeanette with Evil Vintage Designs. In today's video I wanted to show you how I created this flower. I call it my pinwheel flower. Um, I was just messing around and these leaves, or rather these petals, showed up and I posted it on my new Facebook group, Evil Vintage Design Tutorials, which I created so that my YouTube followers would have a place to post their versions of the paintings they learned from my tutorials and I have unfortunately I have a lovely group of people who are very sweet, very kind, and very generous and um, I'm just thrilled by the reaction that I've had. So if you haven't looked into this group, I hope that you do. I felt I needed another. I just added it. Oops. The uh, tip of my airbrush just shot off. Give me a moment to screw this back on. It's not the first time that's happened. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Let's finish drying this. I thought it was spraying a little funny. I think it actually goes better. If you start with your first petal and then work on the smooth side, work from the smooth side so that you get those uh, frilly edges. So I haven't even practiced this. Like I said, I did the other one by accident. They're not by accident. I was just playing around as I often do. 
and that's what I ended up with. So I'm going to keep going around. works better this way because the frilly edges end up over the one that you just blew out. So if you go from the over the frilly edges, you're going to lose them. So blow your second petal over the smooth side of the petal you just blew out. And I think that works best. See, we're learning together. <laughs> Now in this bottle I have like pitch black and blues and only God knows what other colors. I don't even pay attention. If it's a dark color, it goes in one bottle. If it's red, it goes whatever shade of red, it goes in another bottle. So I have a bunch of bottles with different color inks and they work really well for things like this. I think I need another one here. There we go. Okay, I like the way this is looking so far. And one last one here, I think. We'll see. So see how I'm angling my airbrush? I'm keeping it basically on its side. Once I put down the drop of ink, I'm going in a curve and making sure that I'm drawing these frilly edges. So I'll do one last one here. So you see, I'm going around and I continue doing that until it's dry. And keeping my airbrush, there's a slight angle, but it's almost parallel to the paper. So there you have, I think I need more. I know, I always say one last petal, but it looks darker in the rest and it looks a little too light up there. now and make sure it's dry and then to create the center for this one because the center is white what I did was I used a um, a black Posca pen and I just dotted because I wanted to create that dark center instead of just using pitch black I wanted to do something different so I'm just showing you what I did in the one that um, that I posted in the Facebook group but of course you can create your center whichever way you like. So I kind of spread them out as I went onto the petals, but I made sure that it was darker in the center. like that. Then I'm going to take my dryer. Oh, I think I need a couple more over here. It's just too sparse there. Okay. Dry that. I 
And then I used a little snow cap with a micro brush. to add some white to the center. And I went out with the white dots also. So now I'm just putting them right now all over the center of the flower. And now that I have a base down, I'm going to lighten up just one side. Let me dry this. Okay, I'm going to dry that one more time. And then I'm going to add a few more little smaller black dots using the side of the um, Posca pen. And like I said, you can create your center any way you want. I'm just trying to replicate the one that I created on the flower that I showed you earlier in the video. And I'm going to make sure that this is dry again. Then I'm going to take my black gel pen and I'm going to connect some of these little dots that are hanging out outside of the center. Both the black and the white ones are going to be connected to the center. So make sure that if you're following this type of center that you spin your paper as you connect so that the lines are going in the right direction. You don't want lines going sideways. So you want to make sure that everything connects to the center of the flower, that is. So continue going around your flower, adding your little lines. Make sure they come from the center and that you have some in the center also. So wherever you have a little white space, do a little line through it. That makes sense just so that you can see that the little, um, I'm not sure what they would be called, but that the lines connect to the center of the flower, not just on the outside, but on the inside as well. Does that make sense? <laughs> it just looks a little bit more connected to me that way.
Okay, so now I'm going to take, where's my white gel pen? I'm going to take my white gel pen, make sure it's running, and I'm going to add some white lines also to connect to the black dots on this side going from the middle. They just show up better. And that's my center. Now, for this one, um, I created a border around it. And I did that simply by, let me remove that sheet of paper by taking my black Posca pen and using the edge of the paper as a guide. I just run it along the side of the paper. I just think it gives it a nice finished look. Of course, you don't have to do this. I'm going to try really hard not to smudge it. And of course you can crop your paper to whatever size you like, but that is how this flower was created. So I hope you enjoyed this video, found the information helpful and that you give it a try. Please, if you do, share it with me in our new Facebook group, Vivo Vintage Design Tutorials. I would love to see how it turns out. Also, you have direct contact with me. If you can show, if you want advice, you can show me your painting and uh, tell me where it is you feel you're having issues and perhaps I can help you. Also, um, the group members are wonderful and have great advice as well. So I hope that you consider joining. Um, Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out the description box for links to all the products used. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.